What's going on guys? All right, so let's get right into it. Today we are talking about uh, Commerce Inspector, which is a popular Shopify spy tool. Now the reason this is one of my favorite tools is it be is it because it can actually do something. Uh, it does one thing really well that none of the other tools can do. And I'm going to show you what that is and why it's so extremely powerful when you're doing product research on Shopify, looking at different competitors and so on. So this website right here, I tend to promote a lot of these types of products, you know, crystal jewelry and bracelets and things of that nature. And so this is one of the big players in the space. You know, this website just sells a ton of products and makes a ton of money. So I, I like to keep an eye on what they're doing, how they're promoting, what products they're selling and, and so on. And so um, I'm going to go up here and I'm just going to open up the um, Commerce Inspector tool. And so now it's going to bring up a little bit more information. I can see their products, of course, you know, their top sellers. And here's the thing. I mean, there's nothing particularly special about this feature. Just about every Shopify, you know, analytics or spy tool can do this and show, you know, traffic and top sellers and things like that. And while that is important information to know, it's not necessarily going to give you the correct information to make decisions on. And here's what I mean by that. So if I come over here to the web app, this is the same thing, Commerce Inspector, but it's just the, the full screen here. So in a normal product research, you know, situation, you might come over here, you know, you know, you might look at a Shopify store and you say, okay, you know, here's the top sellers. I'm going to add this to my Shopify store. I'm going to run some Facebook ads. I'm going to add this one and run some ads. But here's the thing. You might start running ads and you're getting no sales and you're like, what the heck is going on? You know, this is a top seller. Why is it not working for me? And here's the reason why is because every time you're going on a Shopify store, you're looking at top sellers they might have worked at one point in time years ago but they might not still be working today so let me show you if i come over to uh over here i'm going to have this you know filtered by not all time but past month okay so now we can see if i go ahead and click on past month all of a sudden the products are completely different so i can say okay you know in a normal situation okay here are all the top sellers but hold on here are the top sellers over the last 30 days, I can see that this bracelet right here is doing, you know, over $3 million a month, over 50,000 units being sold. Uh, this thing right here, uh, over $50,000 months, uh, $50,000 per month and 3,000 units being sold per month and so on. And nowhere on this list is their actual all time top sellers. So here's the thing, this bracelet, they might have made, you know, four years ago when they uploaded this to their Shopify store and started promoting it, they might have made, you know, $10 million promoting this bracelet, but then eventually, you know, that product died out and they're not able to sell it as effectively anymore. Same thing here, same thing here, all the way through their top sellers at one point in time are not their top sellers now. So again, if we go over here, let's just scroll through and see at what point do their all time top sellers actually show up on this list. So I'm going to go here, page two, page three, page four, page five, page six. Okay, so page six is the first uh, time that one of their top sellers shows up, Lucky Handmade Buddhist. Okay, this thing right here, they added this to their Shopify store five years ago, probably made millions of dollars promoting it, and then, you know, it just died out, and they weren't able to sell it that, that effectively anymore. So now they're only making $500 a month with this product now and you know five hundred dollars is great and everything but it's not exactly a top seller compared to you know the thing that they're selling for thirty million dollars a month or whatever it was right so if we keep going through here let's see when the next uh, seven chakra healing crystal bracelet so if we go look at it right here this was their number four top seller of all time and I'm sure they made millions of dollars six years ago but now three hundred dollars a month okay let's keep going here okay so this here's the next one this balancing hematite this was their number one top seller of all time in their entire store so four years ago i'm sure they made millions of dollars promoting this product now 225 dollars a month okay so you get the idea and hopefully you can see how important it is to not just see a store's top seller and be like, oh great, I'm going to start testing all these products. You're going to end up wasting, uh, you know, you're going to end up wasting 
hundreds if not thousands of dollars running ads to products that just don't sell anymore and that's why it's so important to know what is actually working right now over the past month and not just you know their overall top seller and so this tool uh, commerce inspector is really the only tool that i found that can do this well in terms of showing you know not just the overall top sellers but what's actually selling over the last 30 days the only downside with this tool is that you can only scan you know three websites at a time on their basic fifty dollar per month plan so if i come over here yeah so right now i'm on the forty nine dollar per month plan and i can track three sites per month uh, to reveal that information you know the uh the top sellers over the last 30 days which for me here's the thing if if you're you know if you have three main competitors and these are big players in the space i mean they have entire teams that are dedicated to uploading new products testing new products so they're actually testing a ton of products very quickly so you don't need to track a ton of websites you just need to track two or three big competitors and let them test all of the different products really fast and then you'll be able to see which of those products are actually working for them but I do have my affiliate link down in the video description and that'll actually save you $25 a month I didn't know that they offered that so I just googled it and so I'm paying $49 a month but you can actually pay uh, less than that by clicking the affiliate link down in my description but that's pretty much it for this video you know this thing does uh, you know, it has a few other really cool features, but that is the main purpose that I use this tool for is to be able to see recent top sellers and really know the difference of what's working now versus what was working at some point in time. So that's pretty much it for this video. Hope this was helpful. See you next time.